another EAP student. Okay, um, so I definitely I mean, I don't even, we don't even know what this says. Uh, we might as well just look at the pictures. Yeah, let's just order from the pictures. Yeah, let's yeah. Like that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like Monopoly now. <laughs> <laughs> So, the overview here is like, so like people like here in America, we see ourselves differently and people abroad see us, uh, us as different. So we have like preconceived notions, some of them are bad, some of them are good. Um, for example, like uh, stereotypes towards us here in the US is like, for example, like our culture things like Starbucks, we drink a lot of coffee made with Starbucks, or we have technology like iPhones, or we're into like McDonald's, In-N-Out, Pizza Hut, and like the big, you know, fast food places. Or we watch Jersey Shore, um, and this little map here shows like even individually we have our own little like California has its own little culture, Texas has its own, New York has its own, and like Seattle and those kind of places have their own. Um, so that's actually a pretty cool map. Has like different little things if you take a look at it. Um, and also politically, we have um, in like different countries like there's different perceptions of our political life over our political culture. Um, so we have to be um, aware of like what people think of us like as politically and try to be open-minded as much as possible. Don't try to take your political views abroad and I mean who knows how they'll be, con how they'll be uh, conceived there. So it's just better to keep an open and uh, open mind to politics. 
uh, socially, we touched upon this, like how we live, what we watch, what we eat, um, what we do, essentially, is everything that's kind of our culture or our social activities. Um, and yeah, so yeah, just be, I said it abroad, students, just be open-minded, be open to new experiences, realize that people are gonna ha have precon uh, preconceptions about you, and just try to, you know, kind of be flexible to it. Thank you. Um, the next part as well is goes into stereotypes, going into our, our culture. Um, and you can see here, these are some um, characteristics of an American. <laughs> So we have um, leaders of the world always suing each other, um, rude, <laughs> what else do we have? Outspoken, stylish, well that's kind of subjective. People in France might not think we're stylish, but um, people in like maybe Africa or something may see us as very stylish people. Um, and these are just to give you an idea of what others think about Americans. And so when you go abroad, um, they might subconsciously say, oh, they're American, they're this and this and this and this. Um, and we just want you to be aware of what other people might think of Americans. And, um, and these are not our only qualities. That's another thing we want to push for. Um, when you're abroad, the, I mean, some of, some of us may <laughs> be leaders of the world or outspoken or whatever, but we also are individuals. We are unique in that sense. So um, express yourself. And um, try also not to judge the other culture you're going into. Um, as much as they're like, oh, they're Americans, this and this and this. Don't go into that culture as well as thinking they're, um, you know, stereotypes of whatever, so Asians, you know, or um, if you're going to Korea, or if you're going to wherever you're going, just um, try to push your stereotypes away and um, just keep an open mind and be aware. And then also, you're, what message are you sending? You're representing um, the University of California, you're representing EAP, you're representing the United States of America, so um, just, kind of be, as Craig said, be, um, be reserved a little bit, um, and then also try to, you know, maybe disprove some of these things. So I sort of wanted to talk to you about a little bit about culture and Americans. Thank you. All right, so a lot of the times when you go abroad, you will come across this stereotype of the ugly American. A lot of people are gonna watch a lot of TV around the world, and they are gonna believe that when they meet in America, they're gonna be a lot of these qualities, drama queens, ignorant, judgmental, and that they're gonna want special treatment. As much as you might, you know, completely not be like this, um, these stereotypes are gonna come up and you should try your best to dis disprove them, or if not disprove them, at least try not to make them true. Um, when you go to restaurants, don't go with 12, 15 people screaming across the hall, across tables, running around. I've seen it, don't do it. It just makes it much worse for everyone who's there. Not just you and the stereotypes you're creating, but for the people around you. Um, make sure that you are kind of up to date with current events both in your own country, very important. What's going on in California? What's going on in the US? As well as what's going on in the country you're in. A lot of people will sometimes try to talk to you about these events, and if you're just sit sitting there saying, uh, let me Google that, that's not a good you know, image to put forth about American students, about the UC. Um, something that you might actually encounter while you're abroad might be an anti-American sentiment. Um, some students will go their whole time abroad without ever falling you know, victim to this. I was lucky enough that when I told everyone that I was from California, everybody automatically loved me and they assumed that I lived in Hollywood and you know I knew Brad Pitt. So because you're from California and California is usually represented on TV, you will get a lot of people who just want to find out more about it. But if you do encounter anti-Americanism or people who um, you know, have bad feeling towards you because you're an American, don't try to argue with them, don't react badly, don't try to get confrontational just respect their views and say, okay, that's how you think, that's not you know, what I believe, but let's move on and go away from that. You don't wanna create extra problems from yourself just because of ideas that you're really not gonna change in their minds by screaming and yelling and going back and forth. These are some ways, like I was mentioning, how to react to anti-Americanism. Do listen to their views, be respectful, um, ignore any type of harassment. Granted, we don't want you, you know, to be punching bags and take all their, you know, their violence and anger, but don't get confrontational. Toughen up a little bit. Some of the things they might be saying might be true and you don't wanna, you know, you might have not thought about before. 
don't get confrontational. Don't tell them, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm from America. We're better than you. Don't do that. Even if you truly believe that, don't say it's no bueno. <laughs> um, don't prove the ugly American stereotype. So just try to be open. Don't lecture people. Don't be rude. Um, try to put a positive spin on whatever they're trying to you know, put forth at you that might not be so positive. Just be like, you know what? It's OK. It might not be the, way, the right way of thinking it, but try to be the bigger person and be like, that's fine. That's what you believe. This is what I believe. Let's move on and get some gelato. We mentioned the culture shock and the culture curve during our skit. This is something, with a little yawning, <laughs> that, you know, it happens to everybody. And if you find yourself scoring really high or really low on any of these cu culture curves, make sure that you talk to someone in your study center or talk to other students or talk to home or talk to our office. Um, it's very common for you to be very scared at first with going. And once you're there, you just love the place. And you can never see yourself back in California. And after a little while, you start missing your parents, you start missing the food, driving a car, especially in Japan. Um, and then you'll be very sad, very you know, emotional. And then again, you'll just feel completely at home in the country, and you'll never want to leave. And then you realize you have to come back, and then you're sad again. So it's going to be up and down the whole time you're there. Um, some students might experience it a little bit harder than others. Just make sure that you're you know, in communication with people you know, with the study center with our office, with anyone that you feel comfortable with so that you can try to get these problems or these feelings a little bit you know, more in control. Um, if you completely just feel like, oh my god, I'm going to die if I leave Spain because it's so beautiful, talk to the study center. You can extend and stay maybe a little longer, but you're not alone while you're abroad. So just remember that you can talk to a lot of people. You have a lot of resources, and keep that in mind. And with that, um, we're going to move on to talking about, well, quick Questions? No questions? Okay. So we're going to move on to financial aid. So 